Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, it's been a minute. Let me do my usual intro. This is Tamaya Robles. I'm your credit expert. I am the host of this podcast, Coast to Coast Credit. I am the owner of Fix My Credit Now, A50.com. I am also the president of NARAP High Desert Chapter out here in Victorville, California. Thank you for still sticking by me. Right. Yeah. So we had, as you can see, a bit of a break. Um, this will happen from time to time. I'm going to just keep it a G with y'all. Um, it's going to happen from time to time. Hopefully you guys understand. Um, sometimes we just need inspiration. Sometimes we just need to pause for the cause and regroup and restructure the business, the podcast and um, make it bigger, better and more amazing, which is basically what I'm doing. So I appreciate you following me and sharing the the podcast and, you know, signing up with me and all that good stuff. So like I usually say in the beginning, thank you. Thank you. A million thank yous. I'm going to thank you again at the end. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I wanted to get right on into it. Um, I want to talk about something that maybe not too many people discuss, which is negativity when it comes to businesses, business practices, um, professionalism, being around negativity and if you're trying to be successful, having negative thoughts, surrounding yourself with negative people or even being influenced, sometimes it's not a bunch of people. It could be that one person and you don't realize it. <laughs> the world may realize it, but you don't realize it that um, you're negatively being influenced. And, you know, there's things that you need to identify with when it comes to that. Sometimes you don't see it. Sometimes you don't realize it. Sometimes we get accustomed to negativity and that's all we know. So we're comfortable with it, but you don't realize that that, that can actually slow your progress down when it comes to having a successful business. So this is just for this particular episode is more so for those that can recognize it or see it in other people, maybe. And it's just, just to give you some tips and ideas. So I'm going to go off script here, quote unquote, and pretty much it give you a, a background on what triggered this episode, not just because a lot of people don't talk about it, but, uh, or it's not a thing, I, I don't know, of discussion per se, but I noticed just within my life, just looking at how certain people do business um, and seeing how some people don't necessarily get too far in their business and life um, because of the negativity. And some people have decided to accept negativity into their life and it just becomes a part of who they are. And they don't even realize that this is something that is weighing them down and preventing them from moving forward. This isn't just business. I also noticed this with my clients or potential clients. For example, I had a potential client recently who did not sign up with me because they had a preconceived notion on how things were supposed to go and what should be done. And it was everything negative. It was just all negative based off what people have said, done. And she adapted a negative mentality to the point where it would not allow her to succeed and move forward. Uh, hopefully I, I hear back from her. Sometimes what people do when they have these negative influences in their life is the reality of their lifestyle overweighs their uh, negative suppression. Is that's the best way I can explain it? So yeah, so let's discuss a few strategies that we can do to help channel negative energy into building the life and the credit and the positivity in your world or in your business. Okay, that you actually deserve. So, like I was just stating, you want to recognize the source of negativity. And if you are already involved in it, you may be so engrossed in it, you don't recognize it, but others will recognize it. Okay. And, and this is what's going to happen. And I'm also saying this from experience 
if you don't recognize your source of negative or of your negativity, other people will, and they will either try to drop little nuggets and hints like, hey, <laughs> you're in a cloud of negativity right now. <laughs> you're going down like uh, the wrong direction per se, or people won't want to be around you because they don't, it's not you per se that is the problem. It might be just a negative entity or the negative energy. And they, and, and people that, especially people that are successful and they're going down a particular path, don't have the time, the strength, or the wherewithal to deal with it. So a lot of the times people are very polite. They'll be polite to you and everything like that, but they don't, they don't want to engage, so to speak. And also you can, you can spot people usually a mile away <laughs> that really can't see beyond the negativity because they kind of limited themselves, uh, their success level because of that. I know this is like mad deep and everything, <laughs> but I'm going to try to simplify this as much as possible. And this may hurt some feelings. This may hurt some feelings. Maybe I'm talking about you. Maybe I'm talking about someone you know. Maybe I'm talking about a family family member, okay? I do believe I told y'all a story. Um, I don't know how deep I told you about the story, this story, but uh, I can go a little deep. I can go a little personal. I'm fine with that. But um, I have a biological half-sister, and we share a biological um uh, quote unquote, I say this loosely, a biological mother. And she, um, uh, was, I was not part of either one of their lives. Right. So until, you know, the biological half sister got older and I knew things about her. I knew she grew up in a negative environment where she didn't have a lot of opportunities in life. And it was more like hearsay. And I hate hearsay. I hate when someone's talking about another person in their life, I like to get things from the horse's mouth. So when I connected with the biological half sibling, um, she did tell me about her background and she told me um, it was, she was saying it matter of factly, but her life was in her environment was just negative. It was negative. It was toxic. And she was discouraged. Okay. From moving forward in life. She was discouraged from, um, fixing her credit. She was discouraged from purchasing a home. She was discouraged from um, leaving the nest, so to speak, uh, thriving, getting a new car, just having a life, just doing basic positive things. And she was encouraged by her biological mother, the one that we share, right? <laughs> to not, to more so rely on her, and so she did, but it only lasted, but so long, but it took a while for her to completely cut and sever that tie because she was wearing that negativity. It was almost like embedded in her character, her personality. She was even raising her children to uh, believe in some of the things that her biological mother was teaching her. And this is as an adult, like this, this person is older than me. And she didn't recognize the issue until her and I had a conversation and she told me what her goals were in life, what she wanted to do and asked me to help her on a credit from a credit perspective. And I was totally down for it. Like I am with all my customers. I treated her like any other customer, any other client. And, but the problem was I can't help you and I can't want this more than you want it for yourself. So if you don't identify the fact that there is a problem and try to sever that, resolve that issue, remove that negativity, sever that tie, be successful in whatever you're trying to do, whether it's business, whether it's credit, what have you. I always try to tie my little stories into credit somehow some way I'm a credit person that's what's what I'm gonna be till my dying day you know but um it's all interconnected this is your life it's personal well you know business is part of your life your money and finance is part of your life your credit part of your life and your interactions with people in the universe that's part of your life so it, it's all intertwined but yeah so once she 
cut ties, then she was thriving. And then she realized, you know what, the sky is the limit. But her her mother, her loosely um, named mother, would she had a problem with it. And and every time there was a, a slight opportunity for her daughter to thrive or take two steps forward in life, she would either um, say something negative or she would, uh, what other things? And I'm sorry, sweetie, if you're listening to this, but you already know, you, are. <laughs> you know, our situation. So it is what it is. Um, but no, I know she's fine with me speaking on this, but, but yeah, she, uh, her, her mother would, um, say, okay, you know, don't do this. Don't let somebody help you. Um, she doesn't know what she's doing. Just saying all these negative things, wanting her to stay in the home, but trying to make the negative situation look better and shinier. You know what I'm saying? You can't make shit look good. I, I'm sorry. I don't care how you dress it up, how much uh, cologne you put on it or whatever. Shit is shit at the end of the day. Negativity is negativity at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? So, but once you recognize that and you eliminate the negativity, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit, but you have to recognize it. Okay. You also want to set a clear positive goal. So again, relating this back to my clients and my potential clients, people that schedule consultations with me, right? One of the things I do, the first thing I do is I ask them, what is your goal? What is your plan? What do you want to do? Let me hear your, some of your story. I tell you, please stop telling me your story. But what, what, what are your goals? What are you trying to do in life? Okay. Some people don't really have a goal and have a plan. And believe it or not, if you don't, you can accidentally slip into a negative atmosphere. Okay. Being inconsistent, not, not trusting in your desire to want more and want better. And sometimes you just need to hear positivity, a good plan. You know, that's it. That's all. Especially my people that are trying to get business credit and they don't really know how that works and the ins and outs. So they may follow me on YouTube. Uh, they may check out my free game or what have you. But one of the things that they don't really seem to do is still structure a plan. So what I try to tell people, especially if you're following me, contact me and schedule your free consultation at fixmycreditnow850.com. Okay. But schedule a consultation and let me hear what your goals are. And if you don't have any, let me hear what's going on with your life. And then we can, and I can assist you with the goals. Part of that is I, I may need to hear some of the negativity. So what is suppressing you? What's holding you down? What's stopping you from achieving these goals? Did you used to have goals and now you don't? And now you don't? Because I also hear that a lot from my clients as well or my potentials. I've had plenty of potentials that called me and they were like, you know what? This isn't going to work. And I've actually had to pull them out of it. Like, listen, you got this. You made the first step by scheduling your consultation with me and structuring a plan on how to better your life, better your situation. Now, again, back to business credit, because y'all know I'm going to be pushing business credit way more often now, especially going into 2025. All right. It's going to be about houses. It's also going to be about business credit, you know, but anywho, um, especially when it comes to business credit, people that are new to business credit, understanding it, so on and so forth. I need to know what your goals are. What are your current goals? What are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? If you have it. And if I hear any sort of, I can't, uh, I tried, this person was supposed to, these are negatives. You may not realize it, but these are negatives. All right. This, these are forms of suppression and I'm not going to on the other individual or the environment. Because at the end of the day, you're grown, right? You're of sound mind if you made it this far and you know that you need to make the steps in the right direction, right? However, you have to take full responsibility for putting yourself in the situation. Like That's just real rad. You just have to accept that, right? But we're going to definitely make sure that your goals are clear, set, and they're positive, okay? And 
again, that can't, that, that can't mentality. It's, I get that so much. And I hear that so much when you start saying, I can't, and I won't, and I, you know, and you start telling me these long ass stories about how, you know, certain situations were holding you down. Like you listen, we all have a story. We all have a story and your story may not, it may be uh, shocking in certain cases or sad or overwhelming and emotional, but your story doesn't override the next person's story. Like your, your issues are your issues and they're built for your life, right? My issues are my issues and they're built for my life. And yeah, some of these, these struggles might be, you know, intense and all that, but I get it. I get it. This is why I tell my clients, you do not have to tell me the backstory on how these negative items got on your credit report. I'm sure it's an amazing sob story, happy story. It's, it's a story. I get it. But when you consume yourself with these stories, you are stunting your own growth and development. Okay. And then through the stories, you guys start talking about how you can't do something. You're, you're, you can't, when you need to turn that can't into a can or such and such prevented you from, listen, if it's not death itself, if it's not, uh, you know, you're being physically disabled or mentally unstable, then what's the issue? What's the problem? What's stopping you? Get rid of that. I can't mentality get rid of, well, so-and-so was supposed to do something. So why didn't you do it? Stop having everybody else do so you do it. Don't put your destiny in the hands of somebody else and then wonder why shit ain't popping for you. That's why you know what I'm saying you put your hopes and dreams into somebody else. And now you really can't, you can't because you're relying on someone who and now they're part of your world of negativity. This is part of your suppression. All right. So get out of that. You, you really have to, this is how you break out of all that, like real rap, right? Surround yourself with positive influences. Now, because if this is you, like if I'm talking to you directly and you're feeling some type of way, it's okay. Embrace your feelings and move forward and learn something. All right. But sometimes you could be so used to the way things are and accustomed to it that you've embraced this negativity and changed it into a positive into your mind, right? So when you are actually around positive people, you, you kind of think they're going against you. And that's not the case. Like, you don't like the way they said something, but they're saying something to boost you up. And sometimes you're so engrossed in your negative way of thinking that has become a habit for you that you need someone to snap you the fuck out of it or slap you or knock you out, like metaphorically out of it. So, you know, there's been plenty of time. I get this all the time, especially since moving out here to California, bro. I thought y'all were triple OGs. I thought all of y'all were, right? But for some reason, y'all can't seem to, not everybody, because I've, 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 some people can get it and some people don't. And I know it's not like a, a demographical, uh, a geographical thing, but I noticed that was like the first thing I noticed is that speaking harshly or speaking realism to people that are stuck, it does something to it, them and it makes them think you're the enemy when you're actually not like you're, you're trying to snap them out of their negative pattern or their negative way of doing things because they don't realize it. So you can't like completely blame them if they got accustomed to thinking the wrong way, which then turn the atmosphere, preventing them from being the successful individual that they're destined to be, right? So once you surround yourself with positive people, that will force out or flush out the negative. Trust me, it's just how life goes. If you're, if the majority of the people and the influences in the environment is positive, that negative will be highlighted and it will either 
stay and make everyone leave or the positive leave or the positivity or your positive influences will get rid of that negative entity, energy, human situation, virus, whatever mentality. Maybe it's the way you're thinking, you know, that's stopping you. I don't know because negativity comes in so many different forms. I can't deal. So pick Pick a struggle, and that's what I'm talking about as your negative entity. You dig me? Now, practice daily gratitude, okay? Daily gratitude. Some people, some people get it. Some people are already doing it, okay? You got to appreciate and thank yourself for where you have gone, the fact that where you are going, the fact that you started, okay, your positive journey in life and that you're putting your best foot forward. You're trying to surround yourself with positive people. You're getting rid of the negativity. You used, you started off here. Now you're here. Baby steps. I always tell people, don't, don't slight yourself just because you have small wins. A win is a win is a win. Okay. And you need to acknowledge that you have to be kind to yourself. You have to take some time and talk to yourself, meditate, write yourself little affirmations, do what you got to do to make yourself feel more confident because being in a dark area or being surrounded by negativity and things like that, you tend to forget you. Okay. You tend to forget your, your aspirations and who you are and what made you likable and what made you like doing what you wanted to do in life. Right. And it's a good feeling. It's, it's a good feeling staying positive and looking in the mirror (laughs) and, and, and thanking yourself and patting yourself on the back is an amazing thing, but you also need to stay focused. You need to stay focused and you also need to remind yourself, you know what? I'm amazing. I'm great. I'm beautiful. I can do this. Yes, I've been through X, Y, and Z, but I'm about to go through this, that, and a third. <laughs> okay. My, my daughter hates it when I know this, that, and a third. Yeah. I mean, like just stay positive, stay focused, and then flush out that negativity. Get rid of that negative mindset so you can thrive. Yes, you are here now. You might have made some progress with this negative entity in your life. Congratulations. But, you know, is this the best you can do? Or could you do better if you remove the negativity in your life? Yeah, I'm not going to keep dwelling on this because I know this isn't a fun topic for people to hear about. I know that it makes people feel uncomfortable and I don't care. Like be uncomfortable, be uncomfortable. You should be concerned when you are comfortable, right? Cause you're not making any progress. You're not moving forward in life. If you're stuck, if you're stagnant, if you're comfortable and you've created this, you have this negative entity in your life that has now been part of who you are and your personality. And you wonder why you're not striving and thriving in life. Okay. So whether you got your own doubts from outside influences, negativity can just be so powerful and it can consume us, but you got to understand where it's coming from. You need to get rid of it. You need to break free of it. Okay. And sometimes this negative form comes as a friend, comes as a love, comes as, you know, a, a family member. I've seen it. I've seen it. I have clients to don't get me started on my clients. <laughs> when I tell you they, I tell them they don't have to tell me the story they do anyway. And a lot of people that are holding you back, it's not you, it, it's it's them, but it's you allowing them, okay, to be that negative influence and you got to break free from it. And some people aren't breaking free from the negativity because you think you owe somebody something. Do I need to do another podcast on that? You don't owe anybody anything not at all, at all, right? Maybe a thank you, if that, if that, okay? And that's not being negative. That's not being disrespectful or whatever. You don't owe anyone anything. I'm not even going to get into that. 
So don't keep someone around because you think, oh, they've done so much for me. Or don't stick to an environment because, oh, this is the, the city where I'm from. You don't owe anybody, you don't owe the city, you don't owe the the ground, you don't owe another human being anything at all. I mean, if y'all don't agree, I mean, you can tussle with me in the comment section for all I care. But you know, we could do another podcast about that. And if you want, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Send me an email. My email is fixmycreditnow850 at yahoo.com. Speak your mind. But I stand 10 toes, okay? 10 toes down. But yeah, don't forget, write your affirmations. Be grateful to yourself. Love yourself. Because when you do love yourself, you know you can't tolerate certain BS. And you'll peep the negativity mad easier. Once you start lo loving yourself and bring more positivity and um, goals, right? And start setting goals and being consistent and changing your can't to a can. Sometimes that negative entity just goes away because they're like, you know what? This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> you think me? But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up, you guys. Hopefully, this helped a little bit, gave you some sort of idea and of what you want to do, where you want to go. If you're seeing this in other people's lives, your lives, um, your lives, your life. <laughs> I told you I ain't editing it. I don't edit. I don't edit people. But anyway, I hope it was beneficial. That's the whole thing. Okay. Where we talked about how to transfer, transform negative energy and just allow and give yourself permission to have positivity in your life. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, especially I'm not a relationship therapist by any means at all. But all of these types of uh, situations are some sort of relationships, okay? And sometimes we don't allow ourselves, the single people, I will say, allow ourselves to uh, bring in or have a positive mate or a positive person, influential person in our life because it's going to take us out of our comfort zone. Like, come on, come on, y'all. But anyway, I'm going I'm to wrap this up. So, you know the deal. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. Uh, go to my website from now until literally December 31st, 2024. I have a, a, a credit fix and blitz where we're trying to overwhelm the credit bureau with all of these dispute letters just to overwhelm them so it forces them to remove the negative accounts on your credit report the holidays are coming up people okay let's get these letters in asap because once the holidays hit you already know you're not going to see the same deletions that you see okay and so after like two weeks after the new year okay also if you're in victorville if you're in california if you're in the high desert listen we're going to come out with a podcast just for, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Just be on the lookout for it. Um, check me out on all spot. What is it? All streaming um, podcast platforms, Spotify, except Apple. Yo, what's up with Apple? Like I've been podcasting for a grip now and I know it takes forever. Like that's normal, but this is crazy. But anyway, I am on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon. You can check me out on YouTube. Um, I'm everywhere in these streets. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I wish you guys the best of luck on your credit journey. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.